हेलो एवरीवन टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज 70 आर वर्क वीक इट्स प्रॉस एंड कॉन्स रिसेंटली द फाउंडर ऑफ इन्फोसिस एन आर नारायण मूर्ति सेट दैट यंग पीपल नीड टू वर्क 70 आवर्स अ वीक टू हेल्प मेक द कंट्रीज इकोनॉमी रीच द लेवल ऑफ डेवलप कंट्रीज सम एम्प्लॉयज आर्ग्यू विद दिस आइडिया वाइल अदर्स आर अगेंस्ट इट नाउ लेट एस हैव सम आर्ग्यूमेंट्स इन फेवर ऑफ सेवेंटी आर वर्क वीक एन आर नारायण मूर्ति पॉइंटेड आउट दैट बोथ जापान एंड जर्मनी इंक्रीज वर्क आर्स इन द ईयर्स फॉलोइंग द सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर एज एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ हाउ नेशन सक्सेसफुली एडवांस द इकोनॉमीज ही इम्फोसिस्ट दैट एज इंडिया करेंटली इंजॉयज अ डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंट इंक्रीज प्रोडक्टिविटी कुड कंट्रीब्यूट टू द कंट्रीज इकोनॉमिक प्रोग्रेस सेकेंडली इंक्रीजिंग वर्किंग आर्स मे रिजल्ट इन हायर वेजेस a positive outcome that can contribute to increase consumption ultimately benefiting the overall economy thirdly entrepreneurs running successful businesses typically work longer hours now let us have some arguments against the idea of 70 hour work week first of all it can lead to burnout Spending prolonged hours at work can significantly affects one's mental health and can potentially lead to burnout. A 70-hour work week means that working 5 days a week for around 14 hours per day or 6 days a week for about 11.5 hours per day. Germany and Japan increased work hours post Second World War to about 8.3 to 9 hours per day in a 5-day work week. that is maximum of 45 hours per week this is way less than 70 hour work week secondly maintaining a good work life balance is crucial allocating time for leisure and relaxation is important to ensure overall well being already indians spend less time on sports and leisure activities when compared with japan and germany so a 70 hour work week can further decrease the time for leisure activities and can increase dissatisfaction in life thirdly indians are already putting in more hours at work according to the data from the international labor organization in 2021 indian workers work for 47.7 hours a week compared to japan's 36.6 hours germany's 34.3 hours and the us 36.4 hours ILO's hour of work convention 1919 set maximum work hours at 48 hours per week with a few exceptions so increasing work hours more than that can go against international labor standards fourth point against the argument is that not following labor laws properly can impact india's free trade agreements with other countries At present India is currently in discussions for free trade agreements with both the European Union and the United Kingdom. International labor standards is also one of the things that is being discussed. Next point against the argument is that India is already struggling with a high unemployment rate. So increasing the work hours of the existing employees can reduce the number of new jobs. Germany and Japan struggled with labor shortages during post second world war. due to this they had to bring in immigrants and also had to increase work hours but in india we have a labor surplus so there is no need to increase work hours next argument is that longer work hours may not always result in increased wages some employees have no choice but to agree to the increase in work hours for the same pay that will be totally unfair for the employees Next argument is that it may discourage some women from joining the workforce. In general, most of the women in India are putting more hours in house chores and unpaid care work at home when compared with men. So, longer work hours may discourage some women from joining the workforce and thereby increase the gender gap in the workforce. Lastly, we need to increase the investment in research and development. developed countries could reduce the number of workers per week with the help of technology and innovation in india the productivity per worker per hour is lower than in developed and a few developing countries instead of increasing workers to increase productivity we need to invest in innovation and technology to improve the efficiency of workers 
As per the Niti Aayog report in 2018, India's gross expenditure in research and development was 0.65 percent, one of the lowest in the world. Increasing the investment in R&D can improve the productivity of the workers. In conclusion, we can say that the idea of working long hours may not be everyone's cup of tea. It depends on personal preferences and the industry they are in. It's about the passion for the work they do and the willingness to dedicate such a significant amount of time for their job. While some individuals may want to invest more time in their work, some others may prefer a work-life balance. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Comment below what are your opinion on this topic and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more hot topics like this.